House built the maps, and that gave me an authority that I wouldn't have had if I was standing in front of a white screen. Barack Obama uses this, the, the majesty of the office, to, and he puts an enormous amount of pressure behind his radical ideas because he has the trappings of the president. So I'm going to steal those trappings. He stole everything else from our country. At least I can do a skill a little bit better from him. <laughs> But the other thing that I did was I set an example with the gazelles and the leopard that everybody understands you don't stop the predator by disarming the prey. But the main thing that I did here were two things that the left always does. First thing I did was I personalized the argument with that story about Amanda Collins, who had a gun to defend herself, who went into a no-gun zone, who was raped and nearly murdered, and if she had shot the guy that had tried to rape her, if it hadn't been a no-gun zone, then Brianna Dennison would have been alive today. That is a story that everybody understands. No one has a hard time understanding that. And see, what we're doing now is we are taking the argument away from 30-round magazines and pistol grips to the fundamental issue, which is, do you or do you not have a right to defend yourself? And now I challenge the Democrats to explain to me why it is that it is morally superior for you to be raped or a chalk outline on a sidewalk someplace than it is for you to have a pistol in your purse or your pocket. How is that morally superior? And what is the matter with you, miserable people, that you'd rather see dead people on the ground rather than have the people have a right to defend themselves? And now it's not the same argument anymore. Now we're not talking about magazines or semi-automatic weapons. Now we're talking about philosophy. When we talk politics, we lose. Talk philosophy, we win. And the final thing I did was we have these faces in Newtown, and everybody, you know, it's like this: oh, you, you want people to go back to the mines, and you obviously hate these children. You want, you, you're obviously happy you see these kids in Newtown were, were dead. No, we're going to take the moral high ground on this. A hundred million people have been killed because their populations have been disarmed. Every single one of them has a face too. Every single one of them, hundred million people has a face too. Now they don't have the moral high ground anymore. You know what they got now? They got nothing. Nothing. So that's what we wanted. I don't know how much time is left, uh, but we can take some questions. Uh, how are we doing over there? We've got about 10 minutes for questions. Great. You can, uh, let's make it a virtual